let's have a look at question 15 in this video so we have the joint probability distributions of variable x and y in the following table and based on that we want to see whether or not that they are independent now what does it mean to have two variables independent that means that the probability of x and y must be equal to the probability of x times the probability of y for every possible combination and we can see that we have nine combinations between x and y in this table so we have to check this relationship nine times now before we do that we also need to calculate the probability of x and the probability of y and we do so for each of the three cases separately the probability of x equal being to 1 equals to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 that's 0 0.5 over here, the probability that x equals to 2 is 0 0.18 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.03. That's equal to 0 0.3. And the last one, the probability that x equals to 3 is equal to 0 0.12 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.02. That's equal to 0 0.2. And if we add up the probabilities, we get 1. And that's what we want because the probabilities in total must be 100%. Now we do the same for the y var variable. The probability that y is equal to 1 is equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.12. That's equal to 0 0.6. The probability that y is equal to 2 is equal to 0 0.15 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.06. And that's equal to 0 0.3. And the last and the probability of y being equal to 3 is equal to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.02, which is equal to 0 0.1. And they sum up to 1 again so that works out okay so we start to check the relationships we will do so for the first column over here we take these values so we're checking the probability that x equals to 1 y equals to 1 the probability of 1 and 1 is equal to the probability of x being 1 times the probability of y being 1 we want to see if that's true or false well the probability that x is 1 we just saw is 0 0.5 times the probability of y equals to 1 is equal to 0 0.6 if we multiply the two that's equal to 0 0.30 and that's exactly the cell that we just saw between 1 and 1 for y so that works out we have one relationship checked we do the same for the next relationship the probability that x is 1 and y is equal to 2 so the probability that x is 1 y is equal to 2 that's equal to the probability of x equals being 1 times the probability of y equals to 2 and we're checking it the probability that x equals to 1 is 0 0.5 times the probability that y equals to 2 is equal to 0 0.3 if we multiply the two we get 0 0.15 and that's exactly what we have in the cell over here so that relationship is checked as well now we do the same for the next relationship the probability of x equals to 1 and y equals to 3 so the probability that x is 1 y is 3 is equal to the probability that x is 1 times the probability of y being equal to 3 we want to check whether that's true or not probability of x equals to 1 that's 0 0.5 probability of y equals to 3 that's 0 0.1 we multiply them we get 0 0.05 and that's exactly what we see in the cell over here so one more relationship check now let's leave it like that for this video we'll do the other cells in the next video because it's a lot of math it's a lot of keep uh, keeping track so let's just keep it short and focused